feet. Yeah, I remember That's those 12. days. That's 12. That's 12 feet. Go get that. He's 6'3". Go get that. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it was impressive. He made it look easy. But he made it look too easy. That was impressive, though. But he made it look too easy. I, I think it looks more impressive because he's smaller. And I like, I like the originality of that because we haven't seen it. Let me see. He went and got that. Freeze it there. Oh, give me yeah. that. He went, he went and got it. He went and got that. Well, he got that. I see. Yeah. I got to put in what Cassius was then. I got to put in that same right He here. got it. Oh, D-Way. He should have had a little bit more flair. Yeah, nah, little hold little on. More flair. If he would have windmill that thing. No, but listen to what I'm saying. He went, He got it, Shaq, but he didn't go get it. There's a difference. If that's he didn't go get it. If he would have grabbed it. That's because he would have grabbed it. He didn't go get it. If he would have grabbed it and windmill that. He couldn't have grabbed that and windmill. He didn't go I'm get it. I'm just saying it. <laughs> oh, my. Uh-oh. Slam dunk competition. I got a question for you, Kenny, after this dunk. Okay. Ooh. I like that. I like that'll that. Get him, that'll get him to the next round. Kenny, question. Yes. Do you have dunks prepared, like yes. this first dunk, second dunk, or do you just freestyle? Well, I, I wasn't good enough to not. So when I came in second, I had to have a plan. Yeah. I had six dunks, you seven dunks. You couldn't make it up in midair. I couldn't make them up in midair, right. no. But Vince Carter said he had no plan. No he plan. He was like, I'm just going to, when he got out there, he felt something. I, don't have, I didn't have that luxury. That's why I'm mad at Dominique, because I did eight original dunks. He did five the same dunks <laughs> and got 50 on dunks. This anyway. right here was nice. And Anthony Simons, his nod to Tracy McGrady, and here was that. Oh, uh, he so did that. Yeah. He, he, he nah. did that. No, nah, he yeah. didn't hit them hills. He didn't hit them hills. He didn't, go, he didn't hit the hills? He didn't hit them hills. Tracy McGrady hit them, hit them hills. Listen, he hit them shoelaces. Ernie, Ernie, to me it's important that he puts on a great dunk in that one, even though he was already going the next round, because yeah. the judges remember what you did before. They gave him 10s on that. 49. Oh, Vince came from the back. Oh, well, hey, he's very high up. Oh, he put uh, his hand by the rim. Uh, I mean, he put his, he kissed the he rim. Kissed it? No, if he kissed the rim, that's a 50. If he, he kissed kiss the rim, that's a 50. I got to see so if he kissed fast. it. I got, if he didn't kiss it, it's just a regular dunk. But if he kisses it, no, he kiss, kiss it. it. Let me see you kiss, kiss it. it. Oh, no, he didn't really kiss it. He kissed it. He kissed it. He kissed it. He almost kissed okay. it. He almost kissed it. He almost kissed it. Oh, this is a. I would have put a mouthpiece in and kissed yeah, it. Yeah, I would have put a mouthpiece in and kissed it. That's not bad. That's that's crazy, though. The that hops. looks better in slow motion. The hops on I didn't know he'd get up that high. Uh, I didn't know he'd get up that high. Ooh. He, he. Hey. It's in the hands of these five gentlemen and Anthony Simons. Three to two. It is Anthony, Anthony Simons. 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 Yes. Anthony Simons. Is it? As the AT&T Slam Dunk Champion over Obi Toppin. And no. for, for the first time ever, a Portland Trailblazer has won the Slam Dunk. Your 2021 AT&T Slam Dunk Champion, Anthony Simon from the Portland Trailblazers. Once again, Allie LaForce. Amber, Nee, congratulations. I know you were receiving a lot of advice from your teammates, including Derek Jones Jr., last year's dunk champion. What were the advice that they were giving you, and how, how much did they inspire what you pulled out off out there? Uh, basically, just told me to stay my strengths and uh, make sure you make the first dunk. You were competing against two rookies. How important was it to show them who's the boss out there? You know, I mean, just, it, all of them can jump pretty well. So, um, you know, coming into it, I just wanted to show my strengths so that I can jump up pretty high and um, be creative with the mini hoop and stuff like that. So it was fun. You also earned another $40,000 from AT&T on top of the NBA donation, and your two opponents are getting an additional $30,000 towards their HBCU, which is just incredible. How rewarding is it to be a part of something that's more than just the game? No, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, just... Um, you know, just giving back to, especially to the HBCU community. Um, you know, giving them the, the same equal opportunities as any other game, any university. So, um, you know, I think it's a great thing. What are the nerves like going into this? You know, you can jump. You know what you can do. But with your teammates watching, the world watching, and all your fans back at home, what were your nerves like? Um, pretty nervous coming in, um, but 
you know, a lot of people didn't know that I could jump pretty high, so I kind of calmed down and, um, you know, just, just show my talents. One more time for your AT&T Slam Dunk Champion, Anthony Simon.